Um, okay, so welcome everyone uh, to the um, uh, Spencer Lock, like uh, basically a li the live live stream review. Basically, like I've done this before um, with my shitty f iPhone while trying to do um, the center review. I kind of that that took like my legs were literally asleep when I did that shit. So like, hopefully, I don't do that again. So, now, um, just to make sure everything's right, okay, alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to, so, so what I'm gonna do for here is, let's, hopefully this works, There we go. Uh, let's see if this works. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show the covers and the first five pages of each issue. D d like, so you get like a taste of each issue, but I don't, but I'm, but no more than that because I don't want to spoil the whole comic and then like, you know, there's no freaking point of getting it. So, um, yeah, this is Spencer Unlocked 2. This is, um... Um, but yeah, let me, let me go, um, to, uh, real quick. Hold on, yeah, let me scroll down a bit so I can, I can tell you who, who did this and who did that. So, like, it's, it, um, I'm not, I'm not a jerk, so I don't, like, um, tell you, um, oh, uh, yeah, so this, I'll just put it down here. Yeah, so, so David Papoise wrote it. George Santiago Jr. wrote it. Jason Smith. Um, I believe, like, Jason's the colorer. And uh, Colin Bell the, is the letterer. So, um, uh, you know, so now, like, like, yeah, now you know. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, J Jason is the colorer. So I just looked at it there. So, like, now you know who did who. And, uh, yeah, they do have their Twitters down, like, as you can see there. So, if you do miss this, then, you know, of course, don't worry. I will have the VOD archive out for here. So, okay, so, like, going to turn that off and then scroll quickly back up. Okay. So, so yeah, you get the... This is the first cover for issue number one of volume two. So, like, as you can see, you got, you got Spencer Unlock, and then, like, you got the new... Their new, like, the main enemy for part two. Oh, uh, sorry, part... <laughs> yeah, I, I keep uh, going fast on my words. You got one for uh, Spencer Lock 2, which is Roach, which is, like, um, military guy suffers really horribly from uh, PTSD. And, um, again, don't want to spoil, but there is, like, a little bit of factor factoring in that he could kind of be like Locke, like he does... As you saw in the previews from um, Papoy's like uh, uh, Twitter or from the Spencer Unlocked Twitter account, there you know I did put that down in the description down below. Is that you did see that Roach does have something similar, but like if you do read it, if you have read it, you kind of know that that may not be the case. Um. But yeah, they give you a little bit of intro. They give you a little bit of what happened before in the first series. Um, you know, some crazy stuff went down. Um, you know, it, it, yeah, like it is a bit of a spoiler if you haven't uh, seen the first one before. But just like you know, uh, just as a warning, like yeah, then you get a little bit. Yeah, chapter one, which is like issue one, and then yeah, you get um. A bit of the, um, uh, you know, who did who. And then, yeah, you also get a bit of variant covers. You get, okay, for the first page of issue one, you get, like, the, the usual Calvin and Hobbes style. Yeah, Roach Riley. And then Roach is getting, <laughs> yeah, like, his Sarge. Oh, uh, sorry, his Major, like, gives him some issues. And then, like, he basically just... I believe, like, this is the first part of, yeah, his PTSD that goes in. 
and then he goes in and then like just basically kills someone with a sniper rifle um just pretty damn crazy and then um oh yeah the third page goes into more locks um psyche just going into as he explains um you know, well, it's the the Rorschach test, basically. You see an image, and then you try to interpret what you see. Um, I, I believe, yeah, I think I've, I've done this a couple of times, and I've, it's, um, oh man, my thing's dusty. But, um, my mental state's been gone there and there, just trying to describe what's been happening. Alright, so the fourth page, yeah, they still go a little bit of exposition of, what happened in the previous volume and then um and then okay and then i'm just gonna leave it here this is like um you know explaining about um you know he didn't need backup because he had spencer with him okay so um to get a clear yeah to get a clear view of like basically volume one uh, sorry issue number one of volume two it Basically, like, um, a lot of stuff that's happened with, um, of course, with Locke, like, he's on, basically, he's on leave, parole, after what happened, and trying to get that, you know, Spen uh, yeah, Spencer's trying to get him back into the game, because, for him, it feels like he's just, um, you know he just doesn't feel like just sitting around doing nothing while, while, you know, Locke is doing his own thing. And then, um, as it goes on, like, Roach does some more trouble, and then, um, you know, more psychological crazy shit happening with Locke. And then, um, with, uh, uh Locke's daughter, Hero, that's her name, which is really cool. I like that. And then, um... And as they go through it, it's like... Yeah, they go to the scene of the crime that, you know, that you saw from one of the pages of, uh... Um, Roach Killed. And then, as it goes through, you know, they... Yeah, eternal... Yeah, uh, sorry. More, um, physical struggle. And then... Um... <laughs> And, like, uh, a little bit of spoiler, but Roach does kind of, quote-unquote, hurt Spencer, like, uh, rips out his arm, but the equivalent that he broke it. And then, um, it go through to it, and then, like, um, it, like, yeah, by the end of it, kind of, you see that, oh, like I said, I believe it's already been shown before, but basically, um... It's the closest thing that Roach has his own Spencer. Basically his own kind of psychological imaginary friend. Um, okay, and then... Uh, Alright, so now we'll move on to issue number two. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, once again we go to another Calvin and Hobbes, Hobbes segment. Where we see that a few times... That... Um, uh, Riley Riley got beaten up by his platoon and then he got captured by the enemies that was pretty bad and then we get a little segment of um um you know <laughs> yeah basically I think like this bef this kind of I would believe a before and after segment in in Riley's perspective this is like before what he does and then like with a uh, lock it's like after what Riley does. So, like, as you can see, um, to, yeah, basically, like, Riley starts a riot, and then, like, he's, and then Locke is trying to find what ha Roach did. Yeah, then he goes in with a fucking piss stain, piss covered toilet bowl, which is disgusting. And then, uh, oh, hold on one second. Let me search something real quick. Ah, damn. <clears throat> I'm 
Excuse me? Alright, so, like... Yeah, so they put this in, and then they, they lock them up, and... Yeah, and lock, basically. Well, you kind of assume that he goes to jail, but, um, like, again, not trying to spoil, but, like, that's not the case. So, like, um... I, I'll just kind of... I'll just kind of, I hate to say, like, I'll kind of speed this up. So, like, um, issue number two, um, is, it's more, yeah, it goes with, um, a Melinda, like, uh, yeah, Melinda's supposed to be, I think, Locke's girlfriend, like, they do have some kind of relationship, like, it's, um, I, for me, I quite liked Melinda, it kind of gave, like, another perspective to go in, because we had, we had, uh, Locke's perspective, then, um, you know, Locke, Spencer, um, and then another one, but I don't want to go into that yet, then, like, she goes in to investigate, and then we learn a little bit more of, um, right, you know, what happened with Roach, and then, um, yeah, Locke goes to court, basically, uh, you know, Roach goes in and does some crazy shit, and then, um, like I said, I usually like to skimp around and try to put in my overall thoughts of the issue, so, yeah, some more action goes in, and then it's just never-ending stop of action, and then, um, then by the time of it, it's like, oh, character does something, it's like, holy crap, I can't believe that happened, so... Um, overall with issue two, I very quite liked it. Very much impactful. Like, yeah, by usually issue number two and issue number three of, like, what I saw with Spencer and Locke is, like, that's when the action, that's when the climax started happening. And then it kind of goes down by around the middle of issue number three, um, issue number four. So go with issue number, this is, like, one of my favorite covers for, um, Spencer and Locke with issue number three with the snowmen. Um, and then they go with another Calvin and Hobbes segment where, um, this one is kind of, yeah, like he, he kills him with a, um, he kills him with a rock and then he eats him because he had to survive, like, actually, if you guys ever, ever saw Twisted Metal Black, like, that one was pretty sad with, um, uh, Grim, I think it was Mr. Grimm? It's like where he, he ate one of his comrades to... It, that's like the most fucked up thing ever, but it's not. I I would imagine that it's happened before with soldiers, but you know I don't want to get it far into that. So get in with um a detective, in his perspective as like, you know he comes in gets, killed by Roach, and then this one I really like this page. I really like how George. Um. How um. The poison, uh, George, George, like, culminated this page, like, just everything going in together, um, and then, uh, this one I'm okay with spoiling, like, it's funny, cause, like, yeah, this is a snowman, and then, like, now, like, Locke is in, like, this other psychological wonderland where he's fighting, <laughs> no joke, he's fighting, um, fucking... Nazi killer mutant snowmen. That's literally what they are. And, like I said, uh, like, I think this is my overall favorite issue just because of how silly and ridiculous, but also with them dealing with, um, uh, Locke trying to, because it's happened before where Locke is trying to, um, he's in this, like, um, something's going wrong with his fucking head, and he's trying to figure out how to get out of it. So, he goes, so, like, while he's dealing with that, another character's, like, dealing with, um, Roach, and then, um, he deals more of, like, personal, personal, more mental issues, and then, as it goes on, it's like, yeah, you get a little bit more, like, oh, uh, plot details involving Roach, and then, um, <laughs> yeah, and then, like, uh, Roach does something, and be like, holy shit, it's like, you know, what the fuck? Then, um, 
We get more like uh, mental like mental shit going on with Locke, and then um, as it goes on to it, it's like yeah another plot twist, and then um, and you know that's the end for issue number three. So if, like I said, more of the same old, but it's still very very good. You know I, I quite like the plot twist. Didn't even see that. So now we go with. Um, Issue number four, the last issue for um, Spencer, yeah, Spencer Lock Volume 2. So, like, we go into it. Yeah, another Calvin and Hobbes. Um, yeah, so, like, go in a car accident and, um, yeah, so uh, Roach, Roach gets the news that, like, his wife and uh, baby son die in an accident and um they go through yeah so like he doesn't want a uh, lock doesn't want um hero to see what he's gonna do basically he's gonna try to kill roach and then roach goes into a fucking he goes into a fucking hospital and wants to like burn these fucking uh babies um oh hold on i want to see i don't want to see if uh okay so that's one two three Four, five. All right, so like, leave that alone. All right. So as um. Overall, all right. So uh, of course I gotta put in like, what's my, um. I got it now. So like, what what would be my um. I think I I basically got a conclusion now about what happens. So basically, I got like, um, how do I feel with um volume two? I quite very very much enjoyed this um it's probably like i said probably one of the best indie comic books i've ever i ever had it's a um like i said if you if you enjoy like more calvin and Hobbes, but if calvin grew up and had to deal with more just having um Hobbes being in, in his mind 24/7 and, but using him to, like, help him with doing detective shit, then this is definitely be your cup of tea. Um, the end... Now, honestly, I don't know... I don't know if they'll do a volume free. I really hope they... Well, part free, I'll say. I really, really hope they do a part free. There's enough, um, I believe, material for them to, like, continue with this. Um, for now... Yeah, for now, of course, I would say... Go to Comixology, buy Volume 1, buy Volume 2. Just keep getting the support going in. Support Pepo, support like uh, George, support everyone that was in this project. Um, like I said, it was really great. I really, I will, I'd love to like, in the future, I'd love to commission George to get some art done of it. Um, uh, let's see, so I would... Um, but yeah, like I said, um, if you if you got the oh let's see, as far, let me let me go on it real quick, like how much it would cost altogether. Oh, hold on. Yeah, uh, so it's uh, it's yeah, altogether it's like twelve bucks, like six bucks an issue. Um, but yeah, overall, like I said, if you, if you like, if you like, um, psych, like psychological, I would say like psychological thriller mystery with a little bit of parody of the side, then you'll enjoy Spencer and Locke. Um, so I feel like that'll, that'll do it for now. Um, hold on, let me go back to the cover before I end this. Like, I'll just go back to the, um... All right, so that's that's gonna be the end of my review for Spencer and Locke Volume Two. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I will be back uh, to stream on uh, Friday. Yeah, on the sixteenth. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Let me check the thing. Yeah, I'll I'll come back two days from now to stream. Um. Um. A like, the Indiegogo launch party for Wisdom comes, and then. 
um, after that, I'll be doing I'll be doing another one for um, uh, Grom, which will be out Monday. So um, stay tuned for that. So um, thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys later.